Hello, everyone. Today's devotional reading will be from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 1, verses 40 through 45, where it is written, A leper came to him, begging him, and kneeling, he said to him, If you choose, you can make me clean. But with pity, Jesus stretched out his hand and touched him and said to him, I do choose, be made clean. Immediately the leprosy left him, and he was made clean. After sternly warning him, he sent him away at once, saying to him, Say that you say nothing to anyone, but go, show yourselves to the priests, and offer for your cleansing what Moses commanded as a testimony to them. But he went out and began to proclaim it freely, and to spread the word, so that Jesus could no, no longer go into a town openly, but stayed out in the country, and people came to him from every quarter. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. A uh, leper was, in a bad way, in every way humanly possible. Leprosy had no cure in antiquity. It's bacteria, caused by a bacterial infection, and antibiotics weren't invented until the 20th century. So it was incurable. Ultimately, it was fatal. And it didn't just kill you right away. It slowly, over time, your body rotted, your nerve endings died, and you would become, yuck. You would become horrendous to look at. You could lose, you know, an extremity, not even notice it, because the nerve endings were dead. And so it's a gruesome way to go. And you're cut off from your family, your community, everyone you used to be. That's not you anymore. Now you're a leper. The second appears on your skin, you're not a human being anymore. You're a leper. You must leave everyone and never see them again, ever. And in the Jewish world where this, where this happened, God doesn't care about you. If you're a leper, you can't go anywhere near the temple. I mean, at most, if you think you're getting better, you can go to the temple, the priest get inspected. If you're getting better, but it's degenerative and only gets worse, you're not going there. That must, that must mean even God doesn't care about you. That's the party line. No one cares, not even God. But uh, he tells Jesus Christ, if you're willing, you can make me clean. It's not a command. Make me clean, if you're willing. It's full of pity. I'm willing, be clean, immediately, immediately. You're a human being again. You're not in death's door. You're not gruesome to look at. You can go back to your family, go back to the temple. In fact, even without going to the temple, you know that Jesus Christ, God, has okayed you. And that's how it is with us. We think we're too unworthy, too dirty. And from a human point of view, yeah, we are. But our Lord is not strictly human. Oh, he's human, all right, 100%. And he's God, 100%. The God lens, we're not too dirty, we're not too far gone. And we ask me to be forgiven. And that's why we always say in prayers, thy will be done. Like this guy said in the text, if you are willing. It's not that God's our plaything to order around, if you're willing. And he's always willing, because that's who he is. John 3, 16, to the whole world, the world's not a good translation. Cosmon, cosmos, for God so loved the cosmos, for God so loved everything he made, that he came to save it. Of course he's willing. And, we ask be, and, we ask be, and when we ask to be forgiven, we don't have to worry about it. And that's the true beauty of Jesus Christ and his message. Let us close with prayer. O oh Lord, may your Holy Spirit fire up our hearts to always be penitent, to always ask for forgiveness, and let's always be reconciled to you. Amen.